And I know, and you know, and we know, we all know the ghost lets us smell. It smells so well, my Hi guys, I'm back and I have a candle review. I have finally a candle review from the American Home line from Yankee Candle that is at Walmart. It took me a while. They've been out now for a few months, but I uh, got a little bit behind on my videos. So I'm getting this uh, finished finally. Many of you all know already that um, Yankee Candle has a collection that they're carrying in the Walmart stores called American Home, and they are a Yankee Candle collection that consists of their hard paraffin wax, two wick systems, and they're in a medium tumbler, which is the size you see in front of you. It's the 12 ounce, and then they also have the large size uh, same thing, hard paraffin, two-wick, large tumbler. And then they also have classic jars, you know, the original uh, jars. And those are in the single wick. So they have the medium and large and, and small in those sizes as well. So they have quite a bit of size range, I notice, in Walmarts. My personal preference, I've seen it before with other brands, I wish that they wouldn't you know, offer so many different sizes, and instead of that focusing on the different sizes, I wish that they would focus on more uh, scents selection for us, but whatever, they uh, came out with this. Now, they have quite a few, like, regular Yankee Candle scents, but they renamed them or adapted the name somehow. They had some fall scents. Um, I believe one of them was the banana nut bread. That one smelled good. Um... There was the uh, ginger pumpkin. That one was really smelled really good on cold. And there was also what was the other fall one? Oh, apple pumpkin, and that one smelled great too. And then there was this one here. This is the shades of fall. That's what they're calling this. And this is basically um, kind of like a leaves kind of a fall scent. Maybe like a woodsy. It's not totally. It's not like it's a repackage of Yankee Candle's Autumn Leaves. It's not that at all. Um, that's actually one of my favorite scents from Yankee Candle. This Shades of Fall is like a toned-down version of that scent. Um, I'm not talking about throw or anything right now. I'm just talking about just the scent. It's kind of like a toned-down, almost like a stripped-back version of the, the leaves kind of a scent. It doesn't have all the spicy um, musky notes that a lot of those leaf scents have. This one is more of kind of like a... I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. It really is a very smooth and light kind of a scent. Um, maybe like a little bit of pomegranate and juniper, tiny bit of like those kind of scents, apple possibly. There is a little bit of spice in it, but it's very, very mild. Um, the reason why I got chose the scent, you know, is because not only is it an earthy scent, which of course I like, but they had um, quite a bit of select, uh, scent selection. I want to say like 12 to 14 different scents. Um, and I wanted to get, since this was my first time trying out Yankee Candle American Home out of Walmart, I wanted to try to get one of the lighter scents so I could gauge how the throw was going to be. And this one was pretty light on cold, surprisingly enough. It's not, you know, a typical strong leaves kind of a scent. And the lightest scent was the vanilla by Yankee Candle. Like I believe it was like buttercream frosting or something like that. I can't remember the exact name, what they decided to call it from this American Home Collection. But that one was the lightest one, and then this one was the next lightest one. Because I am actually testing this candle out. I mean, this is the first American Home candle I've bought from Walmart. So, you know, I go to Walmart very frequently, so... I figured if I like these, I can possibly start buying them just from Walmart. As you can see, the candle's almost done. It probably only has like about a quarter of an inch of wax left. Um, and it is finally throwing right now. So I, mean, I am going to admit, like I said, it was a very light on cold sniff scent. It was definitely a light thrower. I would say... You know, it was probably at a three, maybe the whole entire time I had it. And then as it's gone down, now it's the last inch about of wax. Now I am finally starting to uh, get a little bit more of a throw out of it. But the thing is, is I'm going to try to include a clip. I took a video 
as I was burning this candle to show you how much oils were accumulating and building up after I um, burned this each time. Okay, guys, I was just um, burning my American Home by Yankee Candle, Shades of Fall Candle, last night. And I just wanted to show you guys something that I noticed today. So this is the lid. It's just a plastic, one of those plastic lids that seals over the top. But anyways, here's the candle. It's the Shades of Fall. And I picked this one up because, um, you know, it was an earthy one. It had, like, a leaves kind of a scent going on with it. It kind of has, like, a woodsy vibe, too. Kind of slightly spicy. Not really, though. So it's showing right there the 12 ounces. But anyways, what I wanted to show you was um, today when I looked at it, I could see all these oils oozing from it, and, you know, we've seen this before with Yankees, so I just wanted to show you that these American Home ones from Walmart are doing the same thing. So this is a day after I already did the first burn. So you can see that there's, you know, enough oils where they're actually running around when I'm moving the jar. And I definitely can smell it very, very, very good. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, how much oil it had. So all of the oils kind of like went down to the bottom, so now I am finally getting a better throw, but it still isn't strong or anything. It's, it's a lighter scent, and it's definitely a light throw. I would say the throw right now is maybe a five. Maybe. Five is normal, so I don't know if I would quite call this normal. Maybe it's a four. It's definitely a lighter scent. The scent itself is very nice. It's, it's a, like I said, a stripped back version of leaves, so it's got possibly like a juniper pomegranate kind of a scent going on. Um, maybe a tiny bit of like um, spices, but it's it's very, very mild. I would almost say it smells more like a fall potpourri kind of a scent more than it does like a leaves. And they're just calling it Shades of Fall, so, you know, take with that what you will. So, like I said, it's the 12 ounce. And it's a really pretty orange color wax. You can pretty much see the color of the wax there. And the lids on these, they're not doing traditional tumbler lids. They're doing the good old plastic um, lid that has two big holes in it, which is never good, but whatever. Um, you know, I never understood that. They're putting two holes in it so people can smell them easily, but these things pop off so easily. All someone has to do is pop it off to smell it. They don't need to put holes in there. But it's Ms. American Home by Yankee Candle on the top. Now, this isn't the best lid, but I'm okay with it because at least it has a lid. You know what I mean? It's not just a dust cover. It actually snaps, you know, well over the top and everything. Um, it's in it, you know, it's it's pretty heavy-duty plastic. It's not super cheap or anything. And I'm sure it probably helps to keep costs low. Now, that's the other thing. Um, American Home Yankee Candles at Walmart are going for 10 93 I think it was for this small for the medium size so you know about eleven dollars for this medium tumbler the large tumblers were 1493 so you know that's obviously a better bang for your buck if you will because you're getting you know almost double the amount for only what three or four more dollars so uh, definitely the pricing, you know, everyone kind of is in the same consensus that it's a little high on the higher end. I agree totally. I think that they could have made them, even if they were a dollar or two cheaper, I think that it would have been a better price point. Um, all in all, I think the scent, I like the scent, but I'm not going to lie. I haven't gotten very much throw, like I said. And not only that, but this candle definitely did not perform the best. I know it looks really good. Um... You know, I have it on that little, I have it on a little leaf plate there, which is great for candles for the fall. Um, it looks like it performed beautiful. I mean, there's no, you can't even see any wax rings or anything. It's a very, uh, clean looking burn, and the wicks are perfect, and the flames are great right now. But, and the wax pool is great, but I had to cotton ball this candle 
I, th- I tried to count. I think I did it seven times throughout its whole life, so that's, you know, not too terribly bad, but it's definitely more than a handful, obviously, seven times. So, you know, to some people that would be a huge no-no. So, um, for me, I don't necessarily mind doing the cotton ball as long as I can get the candle to keep working, which, as you can see, it's, you know, performing beautifully other than that. But, you know, I have to be honest with you guys, no matter to get it to perform this beautifully, I did have to cotton ball it seven times throughout, you know, its whole life as it was burning. So, and I'm finally getting a little bit more throw. I can smell the candle, um, you know, pretty good right now. I am standing right by it, but, you know, it's it's a nice scent. It's definitely like a fall potpourri kind of a scent, I would say. Um, but it took all the way the whole, you know, burning of the candle down to the last quarter of an inch, no matter, to get a decent throw. So I'm not sure if it's totally worth it. Um... You know, I'm going to try them again, I'm not going to lie. I knew I wouldn't just uh, try it once and then that would be it. I would. I knew that I would probably have to try them a couple times, and that's what I'm going to do. I'll get another one. I'll probably get a stronger one next time. The strongest one was my kind of a scent, too. That was the black one. Um, beautiful, beautiful black wax, and it was kind of like the dupe for Midsummer's Night, if you will. It, I can't remember the name. Was it Moonlit Night or something like that? beautiful scent. Definitely had like all of the mossy, patchouli kind of scents in there that I like. So that one I will get and do a review on that one too. That one definitely was the strongest one on cold. This was the lightest one on cold. So hopefully I'll get a better throw from that one. To me, it's still a Yankee Candle. Like I'm not going to be one of those kind of people that thinks that Yankee Candle lowers their standards because they're going into Walmart. I personally don't believe that, but um, I mean, I, I, I get where people, you know, get that from, because there's a huge, you know, idea that Walmart is like the substandard type of a shopping, but I just think that um, it has the Yankee Candle name on it, so it's a Yankee Candle, and it performs like a regular Yankee Candle does, and it smells like a regular Yankee Candle, and it performs and throws like a regular Yankee Candle, so I'm still... You know, just seeing a regular Yankee Candle here um, that I purchased at Walmart. That's really the only difference. But I still, you know, am addicted to wax, so I can't just ignore it. But anyhow, I am going to try other scents from uh, this American Home line from Walmart, and I will do reviews on those and get back to you. So, until the next time, smell well, guys.